A while ago, I created a video tutorial on Adobe Captivate Draft. Specifically, we covered the topic of creating a storyboard and sending it to your stakeholders and subject matter experts for review. As one of my viewers pointed out though, I didn't cover how to get Adobe Captivate Draft files from your iPad over to your desktop where you've got Adobe Captivate running. So today we'll cover that off. So here's my iPad. I've got Adobe Captivate Draft installed and I'm just gonna tap on the icon and you'll see that I have my building evacuation project that I've been working on there. It's right in the middle here. The first thing that's most important, of course, is to make sure that you're logged into your Adobe Captivate ID or your Adobe Creative Cloud ID. So I'm just going to make sure I'm logged in at this point. Click on sign in. And so I'm now logged in with my Adobe ID. I can just click away from this pop-up window and return myself to the main Adobe Captivate draft screen. Now, if I long press on the tile that represents my building evacuation course, you'll see a toolbar appear. And of course, from here, there's several things I can do. I can email this particular project to someone. Again, that's for the review purposes. I can upload to the cloud, that's the second icon, and that's what we're gonna to do today. But I can also duplicate and delete this particular project. Let's click on the cloud icon and send that to my Creative Cloud account. Once Adobe Captivate Draft has uploaded your project file to your Creative Cloud account, you'll be able to open it in Adobe Captivate. From the splash screen, simply select from Adobe Captivate Draft and navigate to where your Creative Cloud files are stored. You'll see a folder called Captivate Drafts, and you'll see a subfolder called Projects, and there you'll be able to find your particular project file in question. In this case, mine's called Building Evacuation, and I'm gonna click on Open, and that will open my Adobe Captivate Draft file and convert it to a regular Adobe Captivate project. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com, follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.